let's talk about the identity verification of Salesforce if you go to setup here in Salesforce in quick find box if you type identity verification you end up here control how and when your users are prompted for multi-factor authentication and to verify their identity um, this is a configuration verification method let Salesforce authentication automatically verify identity using the geolocation you have let users verify their identity with built-in authentication set a touch ID windows hello I'll turn it on let users verify the identity with physical security key I'll turn it on so their verification method you turn on uh, so that they can um, do verify do verification in multi-factor authentication uh, the next item is multi-factor authentication require identity verification during multi-factor authentication registration uh, first one is require multi-factor authentication for all direct UI logins I don't want to turn it on because this is a Salesforce org show all the verification this is a developer org, org. I don't want to do that so sh show all the verification method that registration option instead of starting with Salesforce authentication I don't want to uh, I uncheck it if you can turn it on uh, if for you if, if it need for you the general let users authenticated with certificate require any verification email address require email confirmation for address changes require security token for API login for call out API version 331 and earlier so we don't want don't worry about this is for from all API versions so we have session security levels report and dashboards block you can block or raise session I assure raise session to high assurance when exporting or printing so these are session security level policies manage auth providers manage certificates manage connected app manage data exports manage IP addresses and so forth list goes on all the way view health checks uh, you have block race session high insurance uh, you can configure here identity verifications yeah in Salesforce.